Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel now, baby. Let's not get in that. Um, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna just film like a day in the life vlog. Um, I have some exciting updates. Well, not really updates or anything. It's stuff that's already going on that y'all know about. I'm about to put on a little bit of makeup. Um, so today I have to take Autumn to the doctor at one. I believe it's like 11 right now. So I'm just going ahead and starting to get ready. The kids are already ready. We've all taken our baths already, so that's good. Um, it is Friday, so I'm officially one week out until giving birth. Um, we give birth next Friday. We're not sure of the time and stuff yet because um, I have an appointment Wednesday, I believe, that's gonna tell me what time my C-section is scheduled. If y'all don't know, I have um, I have to have a scheduled C-section. I've had a C-section with all of my kids, except for my first one. Um, I had a natural birth, and he uh, was like stillborn, basically. Um, so, yeah, we have our C-section scheduled. My mom gets in town next Thursday, I believe, so. I'm super excited about that. Um, so the next video you guys will probably see after this may possibly be a grocery haul. It depends on if I'm up for it. It'll be like the last grocery haul before the baby. And then after that, you guys may see a labor and delivery vlog. It just depends on how things work out and if I'm stressed out or not. Y'all know having a new baby can get stressful and overwhelming at first. So I'm not gonna put too much pressure on myself. And I wanted to update you guys a little bit on that. So I'm probably going to be going down to like one video a week, which I'm sure you guys can understand. Um, I've been posting like three videos a week, um, or I've been posting every other day during the week, which is basically still three videos a week. But I'm not going to be able to keep up with that, and I don't want to put that kind of pressure on myself with a newborn baby which I'm sure y'all can understand. <laughs> and um, um, my husband will be here for the first two weeks. And then, of course, he has to go back to work. That's just a part of it. <laughs> I have to show y'all the kids. They look so cute. I got them dressed up in, like, some shorts and summer shirts. So, yeah. Um, I am just getting dressed to head to the doctor's office. The reason Autumn has to get to the doctor is because um, she just has her eczema is flaring up and we need to get that fixed or figure out what we need to purchase for her skin. I Like I don't wanna go and spend money on unnecessary products because I've tried so many, we spent so much money already and I just want them to prescribe something um, or give me a recommendation on what to get because um it's never her eczema has never flared up this bad so we just need to get it checked out Getting out of the house with kids is so hard. I did um, put my nail back on, but um, y'all, it is just a mess. And my nail didn't actually pop off. I was doing something and a piece of it broke, so I took it on off. They normally last me like two weeks, like I told you guys. They're just the French tips. I may switch them out before the baby comes, but 
what I was coming on here to tell y'all was um, in today's video I'm going to try to show a what is in my hospital bag um, I haven't showed that yet I have to pack it actually but it's not gonna be anything spectacular but I am gonna show it um, you know once you have your third baby you kind of get like you're in the groove <laughs> like you know the basics to pack the hospital provides most of the stuff anyways but you know the basics to pack and normally you can actually now you can actually leave the hospital well i obviously can't but my husband can so if i forget anything we're like 30 minutes away from the hospital but he still has to come and check on the kids anyway so what else i'm gonna get my cup filled with water these are like the best cups ever for traveling especially when you have um, when you're trying to keep your car clean and everything because they don't like the condensation doesn't get on the outside of the cup They're the Ozark trails. Um, I did have a Yeti I don't know what I did with it, but it wasn't as big as this anyways And these are only like eight dollars. I believe at Walmart. So these cups are like lifesavers So I'm gonna fill that up with some ice and water Cason is drinking his bottle over there and then we're gonna get ready to head out it is like an hour and a half early i am so sleepy and exhausted i'm gonna eat a quick lunch i made some barbecue ribs in the crock pot last night um and let me actually go ahead and warm those up but i made them in the crock pot last night and they are good and done um crock pot food kind of makes me sick i don't know if that's a thing but when i'm pregnant it makes me feel so nauseous so hopefully this doesn't make me sick because i have my kids doctor's appointment well autumn's to take her to but yeah guys i just want to let you guys know that and um after i eat my lunch then i'm gonna go ahead and put them in the car we may ride around a little bit to get them a little nap because it is their nap time and yeah they need a nap Y'all, it seriously takes me triple the time with the kids to do things that um, it would take the average person no time to do. Um, I can only imagine what it's going to be like with three kids because two kids, it takes me forever. I have to leave like way in advance and all that kind of stuff. But I did bring my clean washed mask. I've been forgetting this so much. I know the mask thing is pretty much over, but some businesses um, still require it, which that doesn't bother me at all. Um, it just is what it is, I guess. But I'm so glad that COVID cases and stuff are dropping and all that kind of stuff and people are getting back to normalcy. That is just super exciting. I'm about to put on some of this. It's called Estate Lip Icing. I'm not even sure where it's from. It may be from like Dollar Tree or something, to be honest. Um, I'm about to put some of that on top of this because it's rubbed off after I've eaten. And um, even though I'm going to have to wear a mask anyways, for right now, this feels good. So, I'm going to do that. Um, and then when I was getting in the car, of course, I was putting the kids in and I forgot to wash the sticky stuff off of my daughter's hands because she ate with me. Um, and she loved it, by the way. So that's awesome that she likes something different. But um, <clears throat> she got the barbecue sauce that was on her hand. Of course, when I was putting her in her seat, she grabbed me and it's on my shirt a little bit. But my shirt says mom life. So prime example of mom life. <laughs> things like that happening and I need to actually just keep an extra shirt in the car for emergencies or in case stuff like that happens because it's like inevitable to happen when you have kids. Hopefully this sits up. I want to give you guys a quick update. Um, excuse me. Hold on, baby. Hold on. We're finna get out. A quick update before we run into CVS. Well, CVS Target to get Autumn's medicine. So she is allergic to mosquitoes. She had an allergic reaction, so that's what that was. So we're about to run in, get her medicine, probably get them a cake pop from um, Starbucks in here if it's not too busy. 
So that is what we're about to do. So I just wanted to let y'all know what was going on. I forgot that I haven't showed you guys, but we got the baby's car seat installed. So it's gonna be on the passenger side behind, um, well in front of Autumn. She's in the back right there because that's just easiest um, for us to get the baby in and out. And we hooked the base up to the car seat and Casey's gonna be over there. So yeah, that is how the car seat is set up. We got the mirrors and everything installed as well. Y'all, it is like a couple of days later since I picked up the camera. Um, I told you guys that I was gonna show tonight what is in my hospital bag, so I'm about to try and get that packed really fast. Excuse my hair, it's a hot mess. The kids just went down for bed and it's thunderstorming right now. And I also told y'all that the next video would probably be like a grocery haul. Um, but I went and got groceries today. I spent so much money. It was like $400, but we were completely out of everything. I will try to insert a picture on here showing you guys how bare our fridge was. It was just horrible. Um, it's officially baby week. Um, it is Sunday night while I'm filming this. I stocked up on like everything. I got the kids more diapers. I um, got food, wipes paper towel well no we had paper towels already i got um what is it called toilet tissue everything like we are stocked up so i'm going to show you guys what everything is looking like so this is our fridge right now i got waters and breakfast stuff i mean i like went all out to make sure we were prepared for this baby vegetables i mean fruit we literally just got everything everything plenty of drinks so we are stocked and i have meat and stuff outside in the deep freezer then we have more fruit on the counter we need to get a fruit bowl but um until we do <laughs> it's just what we're working with bread because um i haven't really been able to eat sandwiches and i normally only want sandwiches when i'm pregnant but um yeah i went ahead and got bread and I just turned the light, but I stocked up literally on everything, guys. And um, don't worry, I definitely cried when we got all these groceries and stuff because I remember a time where we were not able to do this. So, um, if you're going through a time like that, then I'm seriously sending so much prayer and so much love because. I honestly remember a time where we were not able to do this and I'm just so grateful for our home and everything that we have. I don't take anything for granted. Um, but yeah, I got some muffins and everything. So that's kind of an overview of the groceries and stuff that we got. But I am about to, that's what I need to do. I came downstairs. I need to straighten up a little bit down here because the kids were playing. But I came down here to go in the guest room because, let me sit y'all down, I need to get the baby's bassinet. I mean, not bassinet, it's the baby's belt. Tube. I need to get that because I need to get it washed. So, yeah, I got the bouncer because I want to take this off and wash it. I'm going to actually put this in our room, but the guest room is actually ready for my mom. Um, it is ready for her. I got that all clean and the sheets washed. I think I told y'all that already. So we are just trucking along, getting everything done, and I also have to go to the garage to get my bag that I'm going to be packing my clothes in. I'm not packing much, but what I am packing, I'm gonna show so you guys. So I have literally been craving a sandwich, so I'm just making two grilled cheese. My eyes may be bigger than my stomach right now, but just in case, I'm making two of them. So I'm gonna have a grilled cheese for dinner. I have not eaten dinner yet. The only thing I've eaten is some cereal and like some leftover taco I ate for breakfast, so. Yes, this is about to be so good. Um, I did bring buy some um, deli meat, but I'm trying not to eat that until after the baby, which is in like three to three, four days. So, you know, you're not supposed to have like raw lunch meat. Well, my doctor told me, so I'm just going to do this and this will like surprise my 
sandwich craving, I guess. <laughs> y'all can see this pretty good um i need to work with the settings on my camera but this is the bag that i'm taking it's like a beach bag it has a zipper so it will zip up it's a big size so it'll hold what i need it to hold so that's what i'm taking for the bag and so i'm just gonna have my tripod in there my camera of course but um i'm recording on my camera now <laughs> um and the chargers and all that so i'm bringing my tablet um this is just my old tablet i'm bringing that because i don't want to bring my actual macbook because i don't want to risk it getting lost or damaged or nothing so i'm just going to bring this in case i want to watch some youtube or whatever the case may be i have my makeup bag let's see if i can open this so i'm not bringing a lot of makeup or anything i literally have my glasses in here um i have hair tie let's see some lip balms my little beauty blender brush some foundation and then i have mascara and more hair ties in there so i'm not bringing much um i do like to put on makeup normally after labor if you don't know i am going to be having a c-section so um i already go to the hospital that morning normally with makeup on so after labor and a couple of days whenever i'm feeling better i'll normally throw on a little bit of makeup of course i'll have my wallet because i can just throw that in the bag um i'm not going to probably bring a purse so i'll just bring my wallet the car keys um my husband will probably have these because he'll be in and out and it has hand sanitizer on this as well which is pretty cool and then i'll show you guys this in a minute but i'm going to be bringing um our toiletry bag my husband and myself is packed in here i got this from target and i think it was only like yeah eight dollars so um i'll be bringing that and then as far as clothes i'm not bringing much as at all like penny socks a sports bra and a mask i'm not sure if we still have to wear masks but just in case i bought this sleep gown from walmart i think it was like seven dollars all together so i'm gonna be bringing that it just says what does this say make every day count so i'm gonna be bringing that it's like just a big long t-shirt dress basically then i have my nightgown i will be bringing and i have a big black t-shirt and some leggings um i normally stay in the hospital's gown honestly for the first like day or so normally i don't take a shower at the hospital i just like wipe off that's just my personal preference um so i normally just wipe off there and then when i get home i take a shower because after you have a c-section it is just very hard on me and especially with this being my third one within like 10 months apart um since all my kids are so close i have a hard recovery for the first two weeks so i just take it easy um but let me show you guys now what's in my toiletry bag so our toiletry bag is just this me and my husband's stuff is packed in here so we just have some hand sanitizer i picked up some mouthwash we got all this stuff from Target, by the way. I got some um, body and face wash just in case I decide I do want to take a shower or my husband wants to take a shower. He normally does take a shower at the hospital, but now you can actually leave, so he'll probably just come home, to be honest. I got some extra deodorant. I bought one pad and these flushable cotton nail um, wipes just to keep myself fresh went on the first day because normally I'm bed bound the first day. Um, and I just figured those would be a great thing to bring. I got us both um, these toothbrush and toothpaste packs. So we both have our own little pack and I'll write our names on them. And um, they also have the little pouch that you can throw your toothbrush back in. So that's good. And that's all that's in that bag. But keep in mind guys, the hospital, provides like all of this stuff 
um they don't provide a toothbrush or anything well i've never gotten one from them but they do provide like um the pads and all that kind of stuff i'm also going to be bringing um i may bring a blanket i normally honestly don't bring a blanket because i get hot easily but i'm probably going to bring a blanket and i'm also going to bring my breast pump i have that already charged and ready to go i just have to sanitize it one more time so i'm going to be bringing my breast pump um because i do plan on breastfeeding this baby as much as i can and yeah the baby's bag you guys already seen that in another video so i'm super excited and we're ready to go we are on like baby watch now it is like full swing we have this baby and i believe four days guys it is unbelievable my husband and mom will get here in like three days two and a half days so i'm super excited about that this may be the last video you guys see before the baby i am honestly not sure um it just depends on how things go but i figure like i feel like i've covered everything hospital bag we got groceries everything's washed and sanitized um so yeah i think we are pretty much ready to go